This is the NBA Finals Game 2. The Dallas Mavericks come in off a critical Game 1 win and are now poised and prepared as they attempt to take a 2-0 lead against the Cavaliers. Which heroes will rise? The NBA playoffs start now. We are on the biggest stage in professional basketball, the NBA Finals. We're set for Game 2 on 2K Sports. Tonight could give us a picture of where this series is headed, along with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Grant Hill. I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce joins us from the sidelines. Here are the five for the Cavaliers. Mitchell and Okoro, they're the wings. Jared Allen out there with George Nia. And it's Garland in at the one. And for the Mavericks. Washington out there with Daniel Gafford. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then it's Kyrie Irving. And it's Curry in at the point guard position. You take a look at Cleveland. Down 1-0 in this series. How crucial is a win tonight? How crucial? Extremely crucial. Historically, the odds of coming back from a 2-0 deficit less than 10%. They have to consider this one a must win. Just enough of a shot contest to bother. Launches a three. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. The first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. And that's the story of the league right now. Most any team can beat any other team on any given night. Here's the Kuro. Pass to Garland. Six to shoot. Niang is free. Here's Mitchell. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. He does not require much space to get that jumper off. Donovan Mitchell working right now. Now Curry. On the wing, Irving. Back to Curry. Now here's Washington. And that one hits the back iron. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. From deep, Mitchell. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Outside Curry. Washington outside. And a miss there on the triple. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Okoro passes to Garland. Allen with a screen on Curry. against Garland. Shoots over Curry. Here's Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Well, this guy's such a reliable presence on the glass. Jared Allen using that length to save the play. The officials were right on top of that one. First team foul. First team foul. At the line for Dallas. And he knocks down the first one. I think one of the things you have to be in awe of is how creative and how elusive Kyrie Irving is to deal with when he's cooking offensively. This guy truly a remarkable talent. Both free throws good from Irving. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Garland against Curry. Pass to Allen. Clock at six. The three from Mitchell drains the triple. Mitchell's got five points. Boy, if you let Donovan Mitchell get comfortable shooting the basketball, you're in for a tough night. That's an easy catch and shoot. Curry passes to Curry. Curry against Mitchell. Back to Curry. From deep. And he can't connect. He's one for three in this game. The Cavaliers leading. Okoro passes to Garland. This one for three. Hauled in by Curry. And so Curry will bring it up for Dallas. Outside Curry. 
fires it from 18. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. There's a threat level from every spot on the floor when we're talking Steph Curry. That includes the mid-range. Mitchell against Irving. The A outside. From outside the arc. Knocks it down from distance. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Irving, the pass to Curry. Fires the three. Drops in the three. He has six. That nice touch pass right there by Kyrie Irving. That was pretty. The Cavaliers have gone four of eight and looking in control. Pass to Allen. Here's Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Irving. Back to Allen. That's tipped. And stolen by Irving. Over a Coro. And Irving, the bucket on the assist from Curry. You simply cannot give Kyrie Irving room to run in the open floor. This guy is a phenomenal transition player. The A outside. To the paint. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It goes on Kyrie Irving. Any play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. is good. Donovan Mitchell just such a relentless scorer and that high energy he brings is always a huge catalyst for whatever team he plays for. Both free throws good for Mitchell. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. Curry looking it over. Curry a screen on Mitchell. There's the triple. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got his fourth rebound in this one. Cleveland has gone two of five from deep. Curry against Garland. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Well, give Darius Garland credit for looking to score. He forces the defense into action. Drops the first. Garland hits them both. Well, we know that injury ended Darius Garland's college career in right at its infancy. But this guy smartly used his recovery time to focus on getting ready for the NBA. Boy, he's proven he can be a gifted player. Oh, what tremendous focus to absorb the contact and find a way there to finish. First personal foul, second team foul. At the line for Dallas, P.J. Washington. Free throw, no good. Well, for P.J. Washington, it's important he continue to establish himself as a floor spacer. This guy can really make threes. The Mavericks have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Outside Curry. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got nine. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Garland with a screen on Irving. Pass to Garland. The three is up. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Irving, the pass to Curry. Curry against Mitchell. Here's Irving, and it's Niang with the rebound. He's got a great defensive mind. He gets good position and affects the release. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art, changing shots without making contact. Now here's Mitchell. He's got nine. Drives to the hoop. Ooh, can't throw it down with one hand. That is a rarity. When he takes flight, he usually hammers it home. Here's Curry. Cavaliers with a rebound. Allen's got his fifth rebound in this one.
Here's Garland. Outside Mitchell. The deep three. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got his fourth rebound in this one. Gafford with a screen on Garland. Curry passes to Gafford. Can't cash it in from close range. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Allen a screen. Three-pointer. The offensive rebound. And so Curry will bring it up for the Mavericks. He connects. And now he's four for six in today's game. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Time called here. The Cavs decide to talk it over. And it's a completely new group here for the Mavericks. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Off the inbound pass. It's rebounded by Cleveland. They've got Stephen Curry. Kyrie Irving out there with P.J. Washington. And it's Exum in at the power forward position. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. He's undersized for a four, but his hops level the playing field. Here's Irving. After the Cavs picked up a basket a moment ago. Pass to Washington. Puts it up from 15. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And it's out of bounds. The Cavaliers able to retain possession here. And looking at these playoffs so far, here are some of the players who have been distributing the ball the best. Garland's checked in for Mitchell. Darius Garland. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. Six-point game. Oh, deflected. It's stolen by Curry. Pass to Exum. Over Allen. Nails the 16-footer. Exum's got 13 now. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Mavericks. Well, the effort they've shown on defense has been infectious. Everyone on this team continuing to jump at opportunities to come away with steals. And the other thing that's working for them tonight, getting out into the open floor, a lot of the damage coming in transition. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Levert goes against Curry. And there's Curry on the assist from Curry. Curry's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. The Cavaliers shooting efficiently, 50% so far. And here's Garland. The eight outside. Pass to Levert. Shot clock at five. Garland for three. And it's Irving with a rebound. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Garland with the ball. Allen, right side. Ooh, Washington with the defensive effort. The Mavericks leading. Irving with it. Picked up by Allen. Curry against Garland. Let's it go from deep. And Curry is good for three. Curry's got six in the quarter. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Garland for three. Sinks it from distance. Oh, uh, Darius Garland asserting himself. The answer back from distance. On the wing, Irving. From about 16, that drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got four assists now tonight. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks defeated. Well, simply stated, simply not enough effort, not enough attention to detail. They've gotten run over this evening. 
Time called here. The Cavs decide to talk it over. Now two of seven on the night. Boy, how about the nimbleness to overcome the defense inside. Darius Garland makes his opportunities. And here's Curry for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Levert outside. Coral on the wing. From the arc. It's hauled in by Exum. The Mavericks shooting a solid 50% throughout the second. Irving finds Curry, puts up a deep three. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got nine rebounds now. Yeah, and they've taken their foot off the gas a little. They were much more aggressive to start the game and really getting in their opponent in early foul trouble. Now here's Nia. He's got five. Clock at four. That's two fouls in as many quarters. He may have to adjust his approach now. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Cleveland. Number 45, Donovan Mitchell. Pass to Okoro from the top of the key. Can't hit it. He's 0 for 2 now. And so it's Curry with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. They've led by as many as 14. Excellent setup. The pre-shot preparation getting into that catch-and-shoot game. We see it, Kyrie. Now here's Garland. He has seven. Outside Mitchell. All sorts of time. He gets hauled in by Exum. Started out strong for three-point land. Hit two in the first quarter, but he's gone dry since. Left side Curry. That three's off the mark. And the Cavs shooting the rock well at 46%. Liang outside. 51 seconds left to play in the half. And Mitchell with the slam. Donovan Mitchell cooking right now. Things look easy on the offensive end. Curry. And it's Dallas scoring again. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Following the score by Dallas. Just five to shoot. Allen with a screen on Curry. Mitchell can't get that one to fall. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. That's good from Garland. Garland hits them both. 11 seconds left in the second period. Here's Exum. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got 11 rebounds in the game. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Getting lots of great looks. Shooting it well. That's why they're up. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm here with P.J. Washington. P.J., what will be the key for you guys defensively in the second half? Uh, not let them get easy routes to the basket and uh, contesting their shots, rebounding, and uh, not let them get second chance points. Comes back to the fundamentals, guys. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. Some great postseason action in the first half of play. A healthy lead has been built for the Dallas Mavericks. They look like they attended the shooting school of Dr. Onilovich. Great touch from the perimeter. I'm looking in the mirror. I'm not exactly sure that school is accredited, Shaq. We'll have uh, somebody from research check it out. I know there's not a free throw academy. Looking at the series breakdown for the Cavaliers. 
Some would look at this game as a must win in the series. What are the keys to getting it done? For me, Ernie, it's all about protecting the ball, treating every possession like it's your last. You know, defensively, you got to be extra hungry, chase down every rebound and keep constant pressure on the shooters. Good tips from the experts. Oh, when no one's an expert, Ernie. I am. And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We send you back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And let's get you back to the action as game two is getting underway. What a game we're seeing from Donovan Mitchell. Slicing up the defense, living in the lane. Terrific first half for him. His penetration was a real problem for them. And then, of course, the monster finishes at the cup. On the court for the Cavaliers. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. Okoro is out there with George Niang. And it's Allen in at the five, down low. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Washington, a screen on Garland. Goes up on the wing. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Well, he was wide open. You wonder, did he overthink it? That's a missed opportunity. Here's Mitchell. Out to Garland. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Mitchell's got his sixth assist of the night. Wow, a lot of distance on that jumper by Darius Garland. Nice. Now here's Curry. Shot on the wing. Cavaliers with a rebound. Allen's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Back to Mitchell. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Stephen Curry. We know this about Donovan Mitchell. This guy shows no fear even inside. Draws the foul there. First free throw is good. Gafford, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Both free throws good for Mitchell. Here's Curry. 19 points in the game. Irving finds Curry. Fires from the wing. Dallas, no good that time either. And this is exactly what you have to do to stop him. That was a tremendous contest, forcing the miss. Niang a screen. The three from Mitchell. Called in by Curry. The Mavericks have gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. Dallas no good that time either. Wow, another empty possession out of the gates. 0 for 4 in this half. Garland against Curry. For the tie. The Mavericks pull it in. Gafford's got his sixth rebound on the night. And there's Curry on the assist by Gafford. Curry's got 21 points in the game. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Now here's Mitchell. He's got 22. Garland with a screen on Washington. Hits a three-pointer. Niang's got eight. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Pass to Curry. Outside for Irving. Over a Coro. No one on him. Makes it easy one. Ten points for him. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That high cue has been on display. Mitchell with the ball. Irving picks him up. And it's a Coral penetrating. Left side Garland. 
And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It goes on Kyrie Irving. Now, this is exactly the kind of aggression from Darius Garland that changes the feel of the game, just works his way inside and forces the defense to foul. And it's tied up with that one. The Mavericks have got just two of six in the second half. The kick out. Curry. Here's the three. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Irving's got three assists now in this one. He tore it up from downtown in the first half. Now hits this one. Dangerous shooter, guys. For Cleveland, they've gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Allen. Garland for three. Washington grabs a miss. For Dallas, they've gone three of seven here in this third quarter. And here's Curry. Back to Irving. Launches it. Another three for Dallas. Boy, the range of Kyrie and the quickness and efficiency with which he gets it off. Look out. Now Garland. 15 points in the game. Lee outside. It's stolen by Curry. From behind the arc. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Outside Garland. Here's Niang. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. And a deep three from Curry. He's rebounded by Okoro. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Curry gets the bucket. Curry's got 13. There's just a nuance and an understanding to what Steph Curry does. How good is this guy at finding the spot he's looking for? Now a timeout called by Cleveland. Lots to talk about here, guys. I mean, losing momentum and looking for answers. I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. The top scorers in the playoffs on our 2K leaderboard. He'll bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Trailing by 10. Curry with the block. Curry with it. He's picked up by Garland. Curry passes to Gafford. Nice D from Allen. Cleveland has gone 2 of 6 from downtown here in the second half. The 3 from Curry. It's rebounded by Cleveland. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. And Okoro gets it to go. Wow, that's a nice burst of power from Okoro. Use your muscles to get past that contact. Here's Curry. After the Cavs picked up a basket a moment ago. He just keeps firing from distance. I know he's trying to heat up, but at what cost? Garland. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Mitchell's got eight assists in the game. Oh, very clever how he creates space against a bigger defender. I'll tell you, the analytics crew may not like the mid-range, but sometimes you just got to put it in the basket. Shot is good by Curry. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Outside Mitchell. Here's Niang. 
Trying to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. The Mavericks have gotten seven of 16 shots to go so far in the third quarter. He's been tremendous at corralling misses all night long. A lot of it comes down to great fundamentals. Establishing position early, controlling the backboards. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Yep, that one's good. Curry's got 29. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. It's stolen by Curry. Launches it from deep. Cavaliers with a rebound. Allen's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Garland looking around. Allen with a screen on Irving. Garland for three. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. Listen, turnovers happen. You've got to move on to the next play. Cleveland calls timeout. He's checked in for Cleveland. Karis LeVert comes in for Donovan Mitchell. Substitution on the corner. Daniel Gafford is out there with P.J. Washington. Then there's Stephen Curry, and it's Curry in at the point. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Now Donovan Mitchell on time and on target. Pretty pass. And the Mavericks with possession here. The Cavs getting their last shot to go. On the wing, Curry fires from deep. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Mitchell, the pass to Garland. Shot from 12. He can't get that one to fall. Nice D from Gafford. And here's Curry for three. He drops it from range. Curry's got 13 in the second half. He got loose from downtown in the first half. Now has three here in the second. Unstoppable. Niang a screen. It can be an overlooked aspect of his game, but Donovan Mitchell excellent at getting to the free throw line. That's because of the pressure he can put on your defense. At the line for the Cavaliers, Donovan Mitchell, two shots. The first one falls. They're doing some good work at the line this half. Both free throws good for Mitchell. Here's Curry. Curry finds Washington. From deep. Connects again from distance. And he's letting it fly from long range. It's a devastating effect. And has now tied the franchise record for triples in a playoff game. And the shot is good by Garland. Building confidence in that deep ball. One from distance in the first, two in the second. Here's Washington. Pass to Curry. From deep three-point land. The rebound by Allen. For Cleveland, they've gotten six of their 13 shots to go. And here's Nia. He's covered by Curry. Shot from 12. Curry with some nice D. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Here's Allen, and count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. What a performance for beyond the arc in this game. They stuck to their guns, and it's paid off all game. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting 47% since the fourth quarter started. The three from Curry. That's another board. It seems like he's grabbing every rebound. That last one ties him for most in a playoff game in this organization's history. Mitchell's shot is good. Boy, Mitchell just focused on the basket. Not an easy guy to knock off course. Exum passes to Curry. Out of bounds. 
Jones. It'll be Cleveland ball. Cleveland ball. For Cleveland, they've gotten eight of 16 attempted shots to go here in the fourth. Garland, no good. The Mavericks leading. Pass to Curry. Shoots over Allen. And that one is stuffed right through. Wow, that type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. And Gafford with the block. Curry from deep three-point land. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. Mitchell double-team. Pass to Okoro. Garland for three. Pure from three-point range. Garland's got eight points in the quarter. That's his third triple this half, and that's after hitting only one before that. And here's Curry for three. Goes back up. Beyond the arc. Pulls in another board. This night will have a place in the franchise history book. Since the team's existence, no one's had this many rebounds in a single game. He's been sensational. A show of force on the glass. Donovan Mitchell might be young, but this guy is fearless and capable of big-time opportunity making. Outside Curry. Back to Curry from deep three-point range. And again for three. The three is coming fast and furious. He is scorching the nets. Yes, and now time for the third most three-point field goals in a single game in playoff history. The yeah, 10 triples equals Dane Lillard's buzzer beating performance in 2019 when he waved goodbye to the Thunder. And their biggest problem so far, taking care of the ball. Yeah, they made some great plays, but way too many turnovers. Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability, and they showed it with that tight coverage. Boy, you cannot let Okoro get going towards the rim. This guy has got elite athleticism. Gafford with a screen on Garland. Curry, no good. And it's Allen with a ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's a five-point game. Garland, no good. The Mavericks shooting at a decent clip, 45% for the game. And here's Curry for three. Cavaliers with a rebound. I'll tell you, this has not been his game, and he's making it worse with shot selection like that. Gafford grabs the miss. Well, the Mavericks shooting just 37% since the fourth quarter got started. Puts up a deep three. Curry's shot is off. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. Simply put, a bad shot, guys. They all know they can get a better look than that. Good! Another from three. He's putting on a shooting exhibition that has left this entire arena in awe. And you know he finds himself tied for second place all time in three-point makes for a playoff game. Yeah, equaling Game 6 Clay, who buried OKC back in 2016 with 11 triples. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Garland finds Mitchell. And he sinks it. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. There are guys who live. For these moments, Donovan Mitchell in the house. Well, if they score here, they could effectively end this one. Yeah, and their main objectives right now, taking care of the rock and using some time. And so it's Cleveland with it. Here's Okoro. Gafford grabs the miss. Shot and game clock separated by five. And so they foul intentionally. He hits the first one, and that increases the lead to six. And so both free throws good, and it's a seven-point game. Well, just knocking them down from the charity stripe, extending the lead. Simple basketball. Cleveland calls timeout. They trail by seven. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. <laughs> 
There's 25 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. It falls! Oh, and that cuts the lead in just five. Uh, Darius Garland playing the role of ball distributor to perfection. Pretty pass. And Dallas calls time here. They're in front by five. There's 21 seconds left to play in the fourth. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey guys, I was able to catch the message that Jason Kidd was giving to his team. And he was emphatic in telling his players not to let up at this point. He told them to stay active on defense and contest every single shot. He said, quote, we worked too hard to get this lead. Let's protect it. Trying to keep them focused down the stretch. Okay, thank you, Allie. Okoro, no good. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. Well, despite what is a lock Hall of Fame career, Stephen Curry has no let up. He is chasing excellence. From deep, Mitchell. And so it's Dallas winning this one. And this win shows they have the momentum so far in the series. Up two games to none now. They just look so confident out there. They're playing selfless ball, and their chemistry has never looked better. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Stephen, another quality win. Is this one you can build on? For sure. We're trying to create momentum. Uh, we can understand what it takes to win a championship. And uh, put a nice little streak together, playing against some great teams. Uh, that's only going to continue. Uh, great challenges for us to kind of focus on. Congrats on the win. All right, Allie, thank you. That concludes game two of the NBA Finals. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. Now our New Balance Player of the Game.